Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the full update of Metapipe 1.3. There are some new features on this update and first I will talk about the installation process. The automatic installation is same for the previous version and for the manual installation, you can simply copy all of this and paste it inside Arsenspel's scripts folder and, and then go to Metapipe Studio Source that's py. As you can see, this Python code is changed and you will only see those five variables. These are the pets and file names for your metahuman meshes, DNAs, and for your pets. So you should set yours inside this Python code and then save it as dat.py to the scripts folder. For the automatic installation, let's go to cmd and then type python metapipe.py and press enter. You will see a window and select your gender, your size, your type and your version. And then find your DNA calibration folder and make sure you select the correct folder and choose it. Then find your DNA and when you see everything is moved, you can press close and close this one as well. And if you get error in this process, you can simply do manual installation. So this is a part of installation. If you didn't install Metapipe or DNA calibration, and it is the first time that you are using it, you should watch the full installation process before doing all of this. This installation process is for previous Metapipe users. Here, as you can see, our DATPY file. And once you set up this for the next updates, like 1.4, 1.5, you don't need to do all the installation process. You just go here and replace those files, except DATPY. I loaded my DNA and let's run Metapipe 1.3. First thing that I'm going to show you is when you load DNA, it will give you a warning that says loaded successfully. And when you see it, you can continue to batch import. Or if you are not sure about you loaded or not, you can simply click on again and it says that already loaded. And then go to batch import. I loaded all of my meshes. There are some meshes for iShell and iEdge. So I created them manually. But in this update, we have improvements on those extra meshes. And let's see. First of all, I will hide all of this. And first, I only select my head, body, and eyes. And in this update, you don't need to select them in order. You just simply click on body first or eye first, whatever you want. Select all of them, head, body, and eyes, and join transformation. All the joints are in the correct places. And for the extra meshes, we can see that they're deformed pretty well. And so it is not 100% perfect, but I think it is a great starting point to modify it maybe. And for the exaggerated models, these calculations are less accurate, but this is the eye shell and maybe you can simply smooth this area and you can use it. At least it's better than the previous updates. And this is the eye edge. Again, you can fix it easier. And now let's look at if we have our custom mesh for the eye shell and eye edge. I will select all of them, including the teeth, eye shell, eye edge. It will all automatically transfer. And now we can see our custom meshes. This is my custom mesh that I created inside ZBrush. And again, all of the meshes topology is matching with the original one. And Let's look at the teeth. The teeth is changed as well. And now we can save our DNA. It saved our DNA and we can check our LODs. Also that function transferred our vertex positions to the lower LODs, as you can see. And let's press prepare to export, batch import again, import our body, select body and build body. And now everything is working great. And it automatically fixes the seam area. There is no seam. And also you can check your body LODs as well. 
and you can check your combined mesh inside body group LOD0 and this is also our custom mesh. So we don't need to do wrapping process for all of the other meshes. And then next process is material assign and then export. Everything is same for the next parts. Good luck with your materials. Hope you like it and bye.